What's up, friends? Rich Discovery is coming at you from a pretty cool location here. Uh, you guys got to check this out. We are on West Rock State Park, and uh, get a look at this. My view from the car, huh? Let me get out in a minute and check it out. What a beautiful place this is. It's like we're parked on top of the world here. Let's get out and go check it out. Hang on a minute. Well, we ended up wandering down a little bit, but it's just some trails. We're not walking all the way down. So we're gonna head back up. Wait, see, there's trails all throughout the woods, which you probably really can't see too well. But uh, let's go get a look at this from the top here. This place is beautiful. Here's the, uh, the actual steps that lead us back up to the top itself here, where the, where the car's parked. Here we go. Yeah, there's a parking lot. All right, let's get a view. Hang on. Yeah, right, here we are. Let's start off on, uh, if you look way over there in the corner, somewhere right there is Sleeping Giant. See the head, the chest, the legs, at Sleeping Giant Park. Scan all the way across here. If you look out of breath, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know if it's stable enough, but if you look right there with that big monument sticking up, that is East Rock State Park. Bring it over, and now you got uh, the city of New Haven down there, in New Haven Harbor. Yeah, that's, that's New Haven down there. You said New Haven Harbor. That was supposedly carved out by the glaciers. You know, whatever, thousands of years ago, that's what they say. Let's look at this place, huh? I don't even know if you can see. I can't really see my screen that well, so I don't know how much you guys could see. What a beautiful location, though, isn't it? Just looking down again, other parts of New Haven. Kind of like the other side of it. They got a little railing down there because it's a really, really steep cliff. What a wild place, huh? Yeah, let's get a look over here. Hold on. Look where I'm walking. I'm up on a wall here. Zoom in on the on the city here, huh? Look at that. Pretty cool. Very beautiful, though. Yeah, and just, just looking at it from another part. Nothing too crazy over here, just beautiful view, trees. But yeah, look at that. It's New Haven Harbor out there. Really cool. East Rock's got a better view of it. We'll have to go up there one day. It's got a little overhang here to chill, eat your lunch, or whatever you want to do. I forgot just how cool these uh these winding mountain roads were to get up here. I haven't been up here in years. But anyway, West Rock Park's got one more really cool, really historical thing. We're gonna go check out. Hang on, let's see if I can. Oh Jesus. I'm getting too old. Let's just start taking the steps. 40's too old to be jumping off of walls. But anyways, it's got one more cool historical thing I want to show you guys. We gotta to drive to the other side and uh check it out. Hang on. It's got these old ass windy mountain roads. <laughs> I forgot how cool it was to drive up here. Oh, look at that. Stone wall. You don't want to go off of that. Let me tell you. But come through here. Move back around. All right. We drive these roads. I'm going to shut this off. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll resume when we get there. Hang on one second. All right. We made it. I'm going to get out the car and show you. But uh, this is Three Judges Cave where... Three of the, I think, like 59 members of Parliament. They signed King Charles, King Charles I, something like that, his death warrant. And uh, when his son came in to rule, he had all the, the, the judges ordered killed because they killed his dad. So three of them came here and hid out. It was uh, Dixwell, Whaley, and Golf, I think. I can't remember any of this stuff. It's been so long. But... Yeah, they head out in this cave back in the 1600s, and it's not really a cave, it's pretty much just some rocks on top of a mountain, but yeah, come check it out. Really cool. A lot of history. And there it is. It's a big rock formation. Imagine hiding out in this thing. I think they ended up leaving because I got chased out by a panther. <laughs> of 
all things. Pretty wild though. Big rocks too. Huge. This is all Ice Age stuff I think that put stuff like this here. A lot of it in the state. Pretty wild though. Let's go get a look inside. Be down in here. A long way down. People in here too. <laughs> Climb down. Oh yeah. There it is underneath, huh? I gotta look up inside here. Isn't that cool? I've been hiding out in here for a month or so. Goes up into there. No one's gonna find you here in the 1600s, huh? Except for a panther, apparently. Let's climb up in. Definitely not a lot of room in here. Let me spin this around. Oh, I'm getting too old for this stuff. Yeah, there it is. Pretty wild. Right, we're gonna spin around and give you a look. This way we came in. Other way down there. Pretty wild. All right, now we're up top. Yeah, see, climbed up on top of it here. Look at this one I found. Very slick up here, so I gotta be careful. I don't know if you could see it. RL, 1951 somebody carved in there. Really cool. A bunch of old carvings. That's the only one I can make out. Alright, as long as we could do this, we gotta get back. Oh, yeah, you can climb up into there. I'd tell you get up on top, I guess, but we're not gonna do that because there's a lot of people around. And like I said, this is very slick. Let's see what we can do without falling. And then again, if we fall, I guess that makes for a better video, huh? Maybe not for me, but for everybody watching. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Maybe we're not down yet. Oh, yeah, there it is. We made it. And then there's another part down in here. Just slide down through. Duck down and we're out. Pretty wild, huh? Look at that. Hope the lighting's good enough. Like I said, it's not really a cave per se, but just rock formations. And I don't know the exact reason they're here, but a lot of these rock formations around here were pushed up by the, by the ice age, by glaciers and stuff, so I'm just assuming. That's just a guess on my part. If anybody knows better than me, then you let me know. Let's go back out this way, because it's more fun. Look at these rocks, look how smooth they are, just from literally years and years of people climbing in here. Look, it's just glossy, it's not rock anymore, it's all worn off. Too many years worth of people been coming up here. Alright, climb down. We'll climb back out that way and end the video. Really cool. But that's it. I might try to climb up on top real quick, but a lot of people around, so I don't know. They're climbing all over it anyways, but that's it. I wanted to share that with you. That's today's video. Uh, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow along with any of our discoveries at Risk Discoveries, tell your friends. Thanks for watching. I'm not going to uh, stop it, stop it yet. I think I'm going to try to get on top real quick, and if so, I'll give you a quick view from up there. So, either goodbye or hang on. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cool? It was way up there. That was that little cave we came out of. So cool. I got to change the plans, guys. We are not attempting to climb that because it's way too slick. I got my work clothes on. Um, I am in no gear to be climbing these rocks. But there's that one there, which you can get to the top with uh, a little bit of effort. That one there could be done with a good set of sneakers, but not in these work boots. If you look here, too, you can see originally it was, uh, you know, one big rock that just split in half. And that's what made the cave. Yeah, I can't really see it too well, but like where this groove is here, there's one on that side down a little farther that fills it in. You see the top wall matches. It just split at one point. But now we're ending the video. Thanks for watching. It's Rich Discoveries. Hit that subscribe button. 
I'm going to try to jump down from here without dying. And you guys have a great day. I'll leave you with, uh, back up here. I'll leave you with this moment of serenity. Have a great day, friends.